Hello, my name is Jamelia and I am reporting to you from Radio Regent and Regent Park TV News. Construction cranes are generally perceived as very mundane fixtures in the rapidly upward expanding metropolis across the world. Invading rooftops and transforming city skylines into never-ending symbols of perpetual development and change. Most city dwellers have grown accustomed to the spread of cranes across the city of Toronto. But more than that, new concerns are growing from these metal towering machines. In 2018, a thrill seeker, Marissa Lazo, climbed on top of a construction crane at the corner of Church and Wellesley to take a selfie as part of an Instagram trend called rooftopping. Marissa ended up stuck on the crane, which resulted in a rescue operation by Toronto firefighters. She succeeded in her attempt for fame, for her selfie was dubbed Crane Girl in newspapers and social media. She also landed herself a $100 fine. Apart from creating infamous social media personalities intentionally risking their own lives on cranes, cranes have themselves have posed a danger to onlookers below. On August 6, 2020, at 10.30am, a Daniels Corporation construction site in Regent Park at the corner of Dundas and River sound an alarm to evacuate their site upon discovering a few, a few bolts have broken off on one of their construction cranes. In their attempt to clear the area of workers, pedestrians, and vehicles, the crane instantly started to collapse. The sound of it collapsing sent many people running for their lives. A cyclist had to quickly abandon her bike as the crane collapsed on the street smashing into her bike and narrowly missing another bystander, who was later treated for shock. This occurred three weeks after a previous crane collapse on a PCO Constructors Canada site at Wellington and Simcoe. The recent collapse sent many without power in Regent Park and as far north as Cabbage Town. Local residents from Regent Park, Oak Street Cooperative, and Cork Town came out to see the disaster and to ensure their friends, family, and neighbors were okay. Several members mentioned seeing clouds of dust and electric wiring snapping apart as the crane collapsed on top of Dundas and River intersection. Onlookers were shocked and amazed at the result of no injuries and quick thinking of construction crew that went out to clear the area minutes before the collapse. However, many members of the community said they are now uncertain about the safety in regards to construction cranes. This being in a neighborhood with several buildings currently in early phases of construction as a part of the revitalization of Regent Park. The Daniels Corporation, Mayor John Tory, and Doug Ford have all released statements following the incident. As of August 9th, power has since been restored to Regent Park community and the collapsed crane has been disassembled and removed from the street. River and Dundas has reopened for traffic and pedestrians. Thank you to Tyrone McLean Wilson for his coverage on this issue. My name is Jamelia and thank you for listening. Please do not forget to like, comment, and share to our channel. Follow us on all our social media platforms. And for more information, please check out our website.